The installer drills a three-quarter inch hole in the wall header. Once the drilling is complete, a drop magnet is lowered into the wall cavity with a pull line or cable attached. The distance the drop magnet is lowered into the wall may vary for different wall heights. However, it is recommended that you keep the drop distance minimal to reduce hang-ups. A small bend in the cable may be applied to suspend the drop magnet. The installer should always leave an adequate loop in the cable to accommodate the wall height. Multiple wall drops may be made prior to leaving the attic. The installer will now use the retriever unit to locate the drop magnet suspended in the wall. Slowly move the retriever unit in a left to right motion down the wall. When the retriever unit passes over the drop magnet, it will become magnetically attached to the wall. This connection verifies the correct wall cavity as well as the drop magnet location. The retriever unit will suspend itself on the wall once it is connected to the drop magnet. After the drop magnet is located, the installer guides the retriever unit to the outlet location. For maximum pull strength, the retriever unit should always be pulled, not pushed. When the retriever unit is in the desired location, the installer may roll the retriever unit left to right in order to locate the wooden studs prior to cutting the hole for the outlet. When the installer is satisfied with the outlet location, a 1 and 1 8 inch hole is drilled to retrieve the drop magnet. Once the hole is complete, the installer guides the retriever unit to the hole and retrieves the drop magnet. A leader magnet may also be threaded onto a standard fiber rod inserted into the wall cavity and retrieved using the retriever unit.